this is Happy Happy Joy Joy with our special Home Decor Tuesday with Christmas with the Cricut blog. Today we're going to be making a house. There's a bunch, actually it's really a church. There is a bunch of 3D buildings on this cartridge. They are so neat and we're going to be making the church this week and in the coming weeks we'll be making all the buildings so you can see how to make how to put them together but let me tell you they are super easy to do you'll be real excited to see to get started we are going to use a 12 by 24 inch mat again because I want to make a really big church just to show you guys so here's the big mat and the paper I've loaded on it is actually poster board I got at Michaels for 39 cents a sheet or was it Joann's one of them so very inexpensive. It measures, I think it's like 14 by 22, so you need to cut off a little bit off one side. Um, so then that will explain what I'm gonna do next, which is I brought my blade down to the corner and I did my set paper size. So the computer knows the size and it says 12 by 22. Next thing I'm gonna do is say fit to page. And then I'm gonna enter my little church building, which is this one. Now we finished cutting building one and you are left with an outline, Let's see if I can lift this off nicely, of a church-like building complete with windows and everything. So there you go. Now the second cut I need to make is a background to this. That's going to provide a frame around which the church can sit. So let me get that loaded. Okay, I have my paper reloaded, and every time you pull out the big 12 by 24 inch mat, the machine automatically reverts to 12 inch by 12 inch mat. So you have to reset your mat size. And I went ahead and dialed my dial to seven and three quarters because that's what I found out was the biggest size I could make. I brought my blade housing down to the corner of my paper and I hit set paper size so it knows how big my paper is. And now I am going to go ahead and make this blackout version of the church. So here we go. One last thing I need to do is turn off my fit to page button and then I am all set to go. Okay, out came the blackout version which you can kind of see here and now I'm going to go ahead and cut the roof. I'm going to choose black because I'm going to make this kind of a traditional church. To cut out my roof, all I need to do is use the layers key and I can go ahead and press 3D building 2 again and I'm going to go ahead and get um, all the roofs I need for my church. So my church has quite a few roofs. You will be able to see clearer when I make it big. And still set at 7 and 3 quarters, still had to reset the mat size to 24 inches and set the paper size too. So here we go. Here's my roof and doors. The last thing I need to do is cut the tower. Finally, to cut my tower, I need to go ahead and I still keep my layers key on and I just go to do shift building two. That's it. And we're in business. Same size, seven and three quarters. This makes the largest um, church we can make with this size paper. Here's my tower cut out. What's interesting is I didn't even need the larger paper. It would have fit on a 12 by 12 inch paper. So keep that in mind when you're making your tower, you're not gonna need extra large paper. Now, all that's left to do is to score the um, pieces and then just uh, glue them together. It's very, very simple. Now, Provocraft has placed score lines and they don't cut all the way through. So thrilled about that on here. So it's so easy to do. I can see just what I need to do. You're not going to be able to see in the camera because it's white, you know, it's very light. But it's so simple because it's just all there. And I really don't have too much, too much thinking. So it's just score, 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 score. And they've even scored the edges that you'll need to fold around the base. This is kind of the outside of the house. They've also provided edges to fold around the outside of the house. So just very simple to do. I'm noticing it's hard to score from this angle. 
where it's filming. So all you do is you go through and you score all the lines on all the pieces. Very easy to see, very easy to do. So I will not bore you with that any longer. I will do all the pieces and then we'll put it together. Now I've scored all my lines and I've folded all my edges in. And what I end up with is the outside of the church and kind of an inner base, which I've taped together. Very simple, there's only one flap. Nothing complicated to see here. And I decided I wanted to put some stained glass windows in it. Actually, Melanie, my partner on the blog, had that great idea. So we got out some transparencies and some Copic markers and just made some random patterns. And then I just taped those inside there. Um, a tip is to be sure to color on the rough side of the transparency or it likes to smear. But anyway, I went ahead and put my windows in. And as you can see, this is just going to fit over the edge of the building I put together. It just slides right over, lickety splickety, no fuss, no muss. So I'm going to go ahead and get that taped together. I'm just using my ATG gun to make that simpler. And I'll put that together and come back and show you how we're going to put the roof and the tower together. Before I go ahead and put the whole box together, I'm going to put on the doors. And what I did is I folded my doors in and they kind of um, go like this. And I put them one inside of each other. See, they have these folds. I have punched a hole, which you can hardly see, using my extra skinny punch here. Because what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some mini brads in here for door handles. And by threading them like that, putting them inside one another, I'm assured that the door handles will be at the same height. I don't have to try to guess that because that might not turn out so good. So there you go with the door handles. Okay, I have my tower now and I put my stained glass window on the tower and all I do is I take my shell piece I made, same design, just a flap that it folds over into, and I'm going to lay this in here and I'm going to wrap the tower piece with the stained glass around it. Kind of give it a little off. Okay, so there you go, you have that. Sorry. And this little flappy piece and this little flappy piece are now going to hold the little roof. So I fold that in, fold that in, and then I very carefully I'm gonna to try to sticky this on. Okay, there you go, there's your tower. Okay, now I'm gonna put my roof on and I've stickied these little pieces that fold down and I just set my roof on here. My roof is basically a sheet of black that's been folded in half. And they told you where to fold it because they gave you the score lines again and I just am gonna kinda give it a little press. Come on. Okay, I've applied some sticky on these little folded pieces. And I've kind of folded them in because when I set this on here, I'm going to want them to kind of stick on their own. Another thing that might be good to use for that is some glue dots. And there is your church.